Hi everyone, welcome back to my pastor vlog. So this is the second video. And today I just wanna show you a little bit about my writing world, I guess. If you know me or are close to me, then you know that I'm also a writer. So I wanted to show you my new setup for my um, writing, all my writing information I keep. And I just finished setting it up in a brand new planner. I had it this information in another um, little planner, but I've always wanted a white one. It's kind of a cream color. This company is Carp DM, and um, I just recently acquired it. It's a three ring, I'm sorry, six ring binder. Um, it's beautiful. Oops, little hair on there. It is beautiful. I love it. So let me show you how I organize my planner. So on this side, there are some pockets and there's a company name right here. I don't know, Am I, do I need to get closer? Let's see if I can get a little closer. Um, there we go. Might not see everything at one shot, but these are little life cards and this says she plans that totally is me and so here's another little cute one love what you do and then I have post-it notes tucked back here I use post-it notes a lot so I definitely need that close by me the rest are just here for decoration because I really like flowers I like to have pictures of roses be your own kind of beautiful that's really cute um, tucked back in here is just this <clears throat> excuse me, a pad of paper. And I use this for brainstorming or any new ideas that has to do with writing comes to me. I want to keep it in one spot. So that's where that goes. And then on this side is um, a dashboard. You call it a dashboard. It's really like uh, just a heavy duty vellum and it's pretty thick, it has a pretty design on it. So this is the first section and it's, uh, this is like the cover. And I just stapled this little card on it. I adore pretty things, which is true. <laughs> so inside is this uh, month, this month, I guess a bookmark you'd call it. And I have a monthly calendar in here. Um, it's cut in half and just laid on this cardstock. So for my monthly calendar, what I do is, is I write down my writing schedule. I have to have a writing schedule. So the time is set aside to do that because between everything else I do, I have to make sure there's time to write. Um, and that's what I put here. Any, anything that has to do with writing, uh, the days I write, any writing retreats or what have you are going on my monthly. So... I'm going to go through all these and to the next section, which is, I just call it sprints. Oh, well, well, first of all, let me show you this card. I love this quote. I had to have this quote in here. A strong woman looks a challenge dead in the eye and gives it a wink. <laughs> I love that quote. It was by Gina Carvey. And I like it. It really spoke to me because of the challenge I, I just kind of thrive on challenges and goals. So that was me. And then this real chic lady um, picture here is just so cute. So in here, in my writing sprints, is just another vellum cover. Um, I just have graph paper. It's just easy for me to, to track things. And I'm tracking, you know, the dates here that I've written. Um, sprints are, you, you write for a certain length of time and then you stop and take a break basically. And so I had writing sprints here, um, how many I did, and then I started to set up goals. I just kind of started that recently. So today I'm writing three, I'm doing three sprints, three writing sprints. And I have all these other sheets in here for more tracking. Then this section is titled plotting. Um, but it has this little card. I like this little card. Look at the old typewriter. Pink is my color. Little flowers. I mean, this is all me. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. It's just a little life card. I punched a couple holes, tossed it in here. 
makes me happy. The cover's a laminated piece of, um, I guess that's cardstock in there, maybe just a pretty paper. And the other side is, looks like that. This that I wanna show you, this is um, my layout for the next three books of a novel I'm writing about Jesus. Uh, so in here is the novel plotting sheets. How I use this as a tool is that it kind of lays out in kind of a detailed way the whole plot of my novel, of the story. So you have your major characters, so I'd, I'd list them here. Um, minor characters, other characters, you know, that are in there, but not as important, I guess. The plot or the problem. And then events, certain events that would happen in the book itself. And then the outcome, which would be like the ending of the book. So this keeps me on track and uh, a place, you know, like a path for me to go through my book as I'm writing it. I can also use these um, for a scene in the book, a specific, you know, story, a story within a story, I should say. So I have plenty of these plotting sheets. I probably need to print out some more just in case, but the next section is retreat. And here, this the, this planner came with these two pockets, so I put this in here um, under remember. It says, the purpose of a writing retreat is to get a lot of writing done without all the distractions. It could last a weekend, a day, or even a week, which is true. That's, that's the worst enemy for me is distractions. You know, you get going and you're writing, you know, either writing, writing, or typing, um, and then the dogs want to go out, you know, or, or the phone rings or, you know, whatever. Um, distractions just kill that flow. So a retreat, you get rid of all those distractions and the whole purpose is to get writing done and a lot of it. Um, and then there's goals here. I set a specific writing goal. So I have direction on the retreat. And this is really cool because it has the same thing on the backside. So these pages, I just simply decorated with some washi tape. And this is to write down, you know, say I had a retreat. I'd write down where it's at, um, the length of time, just some basic facts about it. And then I would write maybe in the evening a journal about how it went, how did, you know, how I feel about it and yada, yada. So I just decorated. These are just various washi tapes just to make it pretty. No big deal. Um, this last section is projects. Now, projects is another way of saying the books I have, the books I'm working on, or the manuscripts I'm working on at the moment. And they're listed and called projects. But I cover, I mean, I just stapled this little cute card, another cute card. You are capable of amazing things. Kind of like a little pep talk to me. <laughs> so, um, oh, I had these three note pages here. It says Pastor uh, Karen Altrango on it. And I just thought I'd throw them in there because I can always use note pages, especially anywhere in here. So the first project I have, uh, my book title is Does God Forbid Women from Pastoring? What stage am I in on this book? I'm in the marketing stage. The publisher was Amazon Kindle Direct. The next step I have here is to create an author page uh, on Amazon. So if you type in, um, it does God forbid women from pastoring on the Amazon book section, um, it'll come up and, and in there somewhere is a link to the author's page, but I haven't set that up. So that's on my list to do that. And then once that's done, I'll cross that off and put the next thing I wanna do as far as marketing goes. Next project is, oops, did I skip something? I sure did. Here we go. Planning with Purpose and Meaning. This is the book um, is specifically on planning, and I'm at the editing stage. The final edit is, is what I'm doing right now, and I'm trying to get it done before Christmas. I want it to be published and released before Christmas, so that's my whole goal right now. This is my novel, it's, gonna, it's titled 40 Days. 
I'm at the first draft stage of my manuscript. It's a novel. It's my first one. Novels are long and um, it's a whole other animal <laughs> regarding how you write a novel. So anyways, my stage I'm in, or, or a to-do, I guess, is to write out the plotting pages for this. And actually, I'm going to do a tr trilogy. So there'll be three books. Um, not, well, let me just say this. They're about, this one is going to be about Jesus in the wilderness. The 40 days is in the wilderness. And then it, the book ends after that whole event happens. And so there'll be two other books coming into, um, it'll be like book one, book two, book three, after, you know. And so I'm going to plot out those pages, plan it all out, all three at the same time. So that's what that all means. And then that's it. That's my list of three projects. So finally, all that section ends. And that back here, tucked away, I just tucked it in here, the cover, is this cute little book. I've had it for a while. It's, it's character profiles. This has to do with the novel. And so in here, I write um, each character has a profile, has a whole backstory, I should say, that I've written about them and it helps me as a writer to write their story or write how they're going to react to certain things because of their you know backstory how they really are and I may be the only one who knows that but it helps develop that character with um, a lot stronger in the story so that's that's it that's that's my planner book here that's how I organize all my info. Let me kind of pull that. There we go. And this pretty planner. I love it. It's so pretty. So if you have any questions regarding writing at all, um, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in comments below. Or if you're a close friend, text to me. <laughs> you have my number. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. It helps my channel. Um, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.